Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to day three of Master the MBA game. So we are here with another important aspect that you must know before you start on this M MBA journey and planning your applications for the 2024-25 intake. Tell me one thing. What is the first place where you go for the answer? It is of course the internet. You'll just open Google or Bing and then put in your question and you'll have the top 20 searches. So who's coming on the top 20 searches? Who's writing those blogs? A lot of content is written by content writers who would probably have never faced an MBA class in their life. So make sure that you're cutting across the noise and you have your very clear list of sources that you would go to for any advice or for any recommendations. There are some steps that I can suggest. Your first reference point must be the schools themselves. You know, ask the schools, talk to them, attend the webinars. They do inform you about everything and anything, anything on the program. So your first go-to uh, resource for any MBA program should be the school themselves. Step two, talk to alumni. You know, connect to alumni on LinkedIn, drop in 15 messages, you'll get a response from, from maybe all 15 or at least three. That is the target for today. At the end of day three, what you have to come up with is three people on LinkedIn who you have seen have had a similar career journey as you have had and, and would be someone who you can reach out to and understand about the program. Now, the questions that you ask are also very important. You know, ask about the program, research about the location, clarify your doubts, but don't ask about, you know, whether I will get in. Do I have the profile to get in? That's not the question. You are the person responsible for your profile. You are the person to do that evaluation answer, and there is no definitive answer. We have seen people with different career backgrounds, with different GMAT and GRE scores, getting into programs that they have been told that there is no chance of you getting in. And there have been people with very high GMAT and GRE scores, which is of course something that we all consider is you know the main important thing in getting into an MBA program, but not getting through because they were lax in the rest of the process. Given this uh, background information, it is very important for you to do your own research and prepare your own lists and you know, talk to people uh, for the journeys that they have had and whether it resonates with what you are looking for from the priority list that you had built on day one and day two. The third set of people that you can go to is the experienced professionals. You can you can talk to industry mentors. You can talk to admissions mentors. Tap your network and see who are the people who can guide you into researching the best program for you. Look at those guides and cut the noise. If that is very important that you do that initially. Self-doubt will create a lot of trouble for you in the next few months. So this brings us to the end of day three. At the end of day three, I want you to make a list of three alumni from your target schools that you have identified on uh, day one and day two and reach out to them on LinkedIn. If you can reach out to more people, definitely go ahead and do that. The more the research, the better.